Hi everyone, it's Helen here and thank you for joining me today. So today we're going to be making the teapot die set. So here they are and here is the die set. So you can make it into an ordinary teapot just like this one. It's got the handle and the spout or you can make it into a cottage. The only additional thing you're going to need to make this is a circle die or um, a circle punch. So I've just used a one inch circle punch there and I cut them in half and I just added them on just like that to make a lovely roof. So um, you're going to be needing a large format die cutting machine to make this due to the size of the die here. And again, you can make this into a gift bag if you want. It doesn't have to be a box. And it comes with um, brick dies here, a window, extra supports for the spout and the handle and also the mats as well for the cottage okay so we're going to have to start off first by die cutting so i'm going to be using this lovely blue here from the foundations range so let's clear the decks Okay, so I'm going to add that on there and I'm also going to cut a handle and I'm going to hopefully see if I've got room for the spout as well. I might just have to run that through twice. What we'll do we'll, we'll put the we'll put the handle through on the second pass because you have to cut two of this main die here okay so all we have to do now is just score all of the lines it's got quite dark in here let's see if i can fix that there we go hopefully that's not too bright and here we have a section here let's just quickly fold this down first we have a curvature there so just go along the curvature just like that the best you can because i'm using a thicker cardstock i am going to add some extra score lines manually which is really easy to do so grab yourself a bone folder and a ruler and there is a point here and we can go straight up like that you don't even have to mark it you can just do it by eye and just try and get it even with the other side using the center the central score line there as your guide and then just fold those in okay so I've done that because I'm using a thicker cardstock okay so let's pop these ones out now so do exactly the same what I've just done there with the other one Okay, so now we're ready to assemble. If you want to, you can mat these before you pop them together. I think I'm going to do the mats afterwards. Okay, so we're going to add glue all the way down that section there. Uh, you can use red tape if you want to instead. Okay, so now we have something that looks like that. So these little side tabs just in here, we're just going to add glue to those. And then fold down our first flap onto that, keeping everything square. Don't worry about pressing anything down yet because we're just gonna add glue to this last flap here. and then press that down. And I'm just gonna turn that over, grab my ruler, and then get in there, just like that. Okay, that is our base done. Okay, so now we can kind of fold these in, just like so, and we have the lovely curvature there. Okay, so I'm gonna have this popped together with a Velcro tab. things have stuck to it
and I'm going to use, and normally I cut these in half, but I am going to use the whole thing. Okay, so that is coming together quite nicely. So let me just cut out some mats from the afternoon tea papers. I'm going to glue these on and then we're going to work on the spout and the handle. Okay, so I have this now put together. I'm absolutely loving how this is looking so far. Okay, so let's move on to the spout and the handle. Let's get this out first. I need my paper piercer for that. There we go. Right, so these already have score lines already. So let's pop those in and then we have score lines here as well on either side. same for the spout as well we have the score lines for attaching there we go and we do need to reinforce this so let's die cut out I'm going to use my big machine here just for these tiny little things uh, where are they here we are got these little tabs here so I'm just going to run that through Seems a bit of an overkill for for doing this, but I have got my wrist brace on. I do have a sort of a repetitive injury. Not sure what caused it, but I'm taking it easy. So I'm using the big machine just for that tiny die. Okay, I don't think I'll be using all of those. I'm just going to do two. I'm going to prepare two. And these also have the little score lines in, so you can turn those over. And I am just going to keep this because I may just use it for another set. Okay, so now we can add this one here just to that section in that spout there hoping well you'll be able to see it once I glued it in so I'm gonna just glue it in stages bit of glue there pop that here now this is just gonna add some sturdity to the spout Okay, so that is our spout pretty much done. I did go wonky on there, so just make sure you haven't gone wonky. i move that up a bit. That looks better. Okay, move that aside, and let's work on the handle. So I need another support just in this area there. Not that you can be able to see it, but it's just here. I need to add the support there. So again, I'm gonna do that in sections. And if you do have anything coming out the other end, you can just glue that, uh, sorry, uh, trim that off with some scissors once the glue has dried. So again, just make sure you have your little bridges straight otherwise you might get a wonky handle or a spout there we go so now we are ready to pop those onto the teapot so you can actually use this just as a gift box just like that 
or add some handles, some holes there and make it into a gift bag. Or we can pop these on and turn it into a teapot. So I've had my glue gun just heating up off to the side here so I'm hoping that it's ready. So we're going to be popping this on that way. So I'm going to make sure these are positioned nicely and we're going to be gluing it on like that. You can overlap them if you want to or you can glue them on just like that. So I think I actually I might overlap them actually. So just add some glue there and overlap. Then add some more glue to the outside and then get that on as straight as you can. And there is the central line just there for guidance just so you can get that in the centre. If you need to press down, just use something thin. You can do that. There we go. There is our spout done. So this is going to be a bit more tricky now because our spout's there, so we can't pop that down. So um, how did I do this handle? Uh, I did it a bit differently, actually. I On this one, not that you can see that. Let's try the pink one. That's not much better. I've just popped them on so that they're just about meeting. So I'm going to add these in stages. It's a lot easier doing it in stages. So add your glue just to either side of those tabs. Make sure it's not upside down when you put it on as well. And if you do find this bit a bit fiddly, I would do the handle first and then glue on the spout last. Can't see what I'm doing. And there we go, that's the first stage done. And if you want to just use ordinary glue, you can do. So I'm just gonna line that up there. And then do the same on the other side. we go. Line everything up. That did go a bit wonky. Too late to fix it now. But there is the lovely handle that matches the teacup. Let's grab the teacup. There we go. Here is the teacup. So we have a lovely china set now coming along. So I'm really loving how this collection is looking together. So this is the teapot. If you like this one, give me a thumbs up. The die set is available at Craft Stash. And um, thank you very much for joining me today and I'll see you again next time.